Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. This caught my eye and it was actually cheaper than I expected it to be. I'm not sure whether it's a kit or whether it's one that somebody's made from scratch. But it's only 99 pence. I suspect it's one that somebody's made from scratch, but I'm not sure. Not sure. I mean, looking at this bit, I, that looks more like that's probably kit already done. Yeah, it's probably a kit then. I'm going to have a look online at some time, see if I can actually identify the kit in that case. I think there's at least one piece missing. There's a hole just there for something to go in. Um, I think there ought to be levers, or a lever, to go in there to wind it up. String goes in there, I would think, and I would have thought there'd be a ratchet effect there. In fact, I think that piece is in the wrong way around. I think that ratchet side there should be over there, and there should be some sort of lever there, so that when you wind it up, the ratchet holds it in place, and then you flick the lever to release that ratchet and it can fly up. I'm not sure what that bit's for and I'm not sure which way round that should be so I'm going to have to have a look. I think this is called a trebuchet isn't it? put weight in there and then you wind it down so there must be a bit of string attached there somewhere to wind that down there then as I say, I think you'd release the ratchet. That would allow that to fly up. And then I think that bit's supposed to carry on to give it that extra bit of leverage. So, not perfect, but for 99 pence I thought it was worth buying. Just for demonstration purposes, Give it some weight. I expect on the battlefield you'll fill it with earth or something. I don't know. I haven't researched them at all. I know Tom Stanton has done a rather nice one. Well, I know lots of people have done nice ones, but I remember Tom, Tom Stanton. Uh, right, we haven't got a bit of a string attaching there to there, so we're going to forget about that for now. So that's our action. So we wind it up, see so that ratchet I think should be over that side, and there'd be a little lever on it to release the ratchet. And then this bit, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look at a picture. Because I'm sure that's supposed to hang loose. And then when it gets to the top of the swing, if it's stopped there, and then that bit, I think, is supposed to give it an extra little bit of, um, whatever you want to call it, velocity. I put a little bit of blue tack in there. And then let it go. Yeah, it sort of worked. I'll go and put the camera over there and see if we can hit the camera. but it needs a bit of extra work to get it working properly. And like I said at the beginning, for 99 pence, so less than a pound, it was worth buying, even though it needs a bit of work on it to get it right.
Well, I've managed to get some of it apart where the glue wasn't too good, but I can't get the wheels off. They're well glued in place, so I can't separate the sides of the uh, bodywork. So what I ended up doing was sawing the end of that um, axle rod off so I could just get it out. Now I can turn it around the right way so that can fit on there. So then as that turns that way to wind it up then the little ratchet thing that should be in there that I'm going to have to make something up to fit there should um, hold it in position. So here we are with the right way round now. Yeah, a bit of um, coffee stirrer. So as that goes that way, you can push it that way, but that stops it coming back. And then you need some little lever on there so you can lift that up out the way. Well, I found the timber kits trebuchet video on YouTube. I'm right about that. I've put that the right way round. I've now found this piece, this bit of cloth stuff on there, is actually the wrong way round according to the video. So I'm trying to get that off because that on the video. That uh, end piece there tilts upwards the way I'm holding it now, whereas it was actually that way around. So that needs to be changed around. And I now know what this piece is for. That's the wrong piece. They've actually used, I think that piece should be down there, and that circle there should be up there. And you have the string goes from there, through there, and back down to here. And then you wind it up that way. Well, I've modified it so it works the way it's designed to work. Unfortunately, that actually reduces its power. I'll show you what I've done. So first thing I did was turn this around so we had the ratchet on this side because that's where there was a hole for a ratchet lever to fit. Then I've made one up, made up a little ratchet lever from a wooden clothes peg and a bit of wood and a bit of bamboo cane and a bead on the top of it. So that's the ratchet effect. So if I turn that round, we've got the ratchet. And then I've done the rigging the way it's supposed to be, according to the video that I've watched. So we have a bit of string attached here to a loop here that the another piece of string comes up from down here through that loop and then you attach it to this uh, ratchet effect. I need to put a little bit of weight on there just to make it work and then the idea is you tension it with this lever So you're lifting this weight up at this side and pulling the arm down. Keep going until this bit's on the floor. We're 
now tensioned and we put our little weight on there and this is where it all goes wrong. The additional friction of this piece is slowing the arm down so much that it just doesn't work. What you do is you release the ratchet, which I'll just do this way, that'll move that way, that'll come off the gear there or the ratchet and the arm will fly up and in theory the projectile goes that way. In practice, because of the extra friction, it doesn't go anywhere. You ready? Well, it rolled off in that direction. So that's the way it's supposed to work. We either need a lot more weight in here or we need to reduce the friction caused by that thing because that's what's slowing the arm down. Without that, projectile goes that way about two meters. So although I've put it back to the way it should be, it's worse. Although technically interesting to watch. So this is our ratchet. It needs just a little bit of weight on it to make sure it drops down in between each tooth. But that's it. Uh, still happy that I spent 99 pence on it. I've had a look online and they're about £20. So uh, got a bargain there. Well, I didn't have the pleasure of building it, I suppose. It was already built. But if you wanted to buy one, say they're around £20. By, um, I think it was Woodcraft. I'll put a link in the video description to the demonstration video that's on YouTube, but it's the one that's linked to on the Woodcraft site. I've just watched the official Timber Kits build video, and I can see they do it slightly different to the video that I did watch. It wasn't clear on the video I watched. So, slight change. Still got this loop that we go through, but I should have put a bar across to about halfway here. Couldn't see that in the pictures I was looking at. And that goes on that bar. I've got just enough there to be able to put it on anyway. In fact, if I wind that up a little bit first, uh, I'm going to have to change that out, longer bit of wood, because what they then show you is to release it, instead of just releasing that, you actually push the string off that bit of wood, so that has the effect of releasing it quickly without that having to spin. I'll change that bit of wood. I think we can see the rigging now, so now we've got a bit of string there that's looped round that uh, rod, wooden rod, goes up, well, can't see can we, we're too close in. So from there, through that loop, and then down to the um, winder. So the idea now is we wind it up, and then when we want to release it, we actually push that loop off there and that releases it quickly instead of having to wait for that to unwind. So I'll set up again and see if we can get it to work. So we wind it up.
So fully wound or fully tensioned. Put that in there. And then instead of releasing the ratchet, we push the string off the end of the rod. Are we ready? And that worked. So, we got there in the end. We don't use that. We push the string off the loop. Or off the rod, whatever you want to call that bit. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.